G'day all, welcome to another video gig. Today I'm going to show you a motion graphic technique that you could use to place video or images onto an iPhone or iPad. It's real easy to do and best of all, what you see here can all be created on the same mobile device as well. The video editing app I'll be using is LumaFusion. I really believe it's the best video editing app on the App Store today. Don't believe me? Then tell me what is better and your reasons why in the comments below. If you don't have LumaFusion, then that's okay, I forgive you. Almost any mobile video editing app should be able to help you achieve this same technique. Yes, even KindMaster as well. So let's get started. Hmm. Now in order to achieve this effect, you're going to need at least three items for your video project. Can you guess what the first will be? I've already mentioned it in the intro. It's the video editing app LumaFusion. I'll be using version 2 here. The second item you will need is something that's going to be shown on the iPhone or iPad. This can either be a screen recording, a video or an image. In this example, I'll be using a screen recording of an app that I made earlier. If you want me to cover creating screen recordings on an iDevice in a future video gig, let me know in the comments section below. You don't even have to use a screen recording to be displayed. You can also use any other footage you have, or even show just an image or two. Or how about, to spice things up a bit, perhaps some funny memes, emojis, or how about a reaction video? Whatever is needed to support the main topic or point you're trying to make in your presentation. It's all up to you. The third and final item you're going to need is some iPhone and iPad graphics. Not just any graphic, for this technique to work, it needs to have a transparent background. These types of images are easy to come by. Just open up your web browser and search Google for iPhone or iPad and simply add transparent PNG, hit enter, then choose images. Now, as you can see, there are plenty to choose from. When you see one you like, just make sure it's royalty free so you don't run into any legal issues in the future. Once you've found a suitable image with a transparent background, just download it onto either your iPhone or iPad wherever you have LumaFusion installed. When you've done that, go ahead and open up LumaFusion. Let's create a scene that uses an iPhone. For iPads, it's exactly the same technique covered here, but instead, just switch out the iPhone for an iPad graphic. OK, let's go. The first step is to bring in a background image from your library. Here, I'm using a wooden surface. You could also use an image of a desk as well. The idea is to make it as realistic as you can. Next, bring in the iPhone graphic that will be used for the effect. I'll just extend the length of the graphic a bit. OK, let's now go and bring in the footage that is to be viewed on the iPhone screen. Make sure you place it on the top track above the iPhone graphic. Good. Now. Extend the length of both the iPhone and background images so that they match the length of the footage you just imported. You're awesome, see? You're now a video editing master. <laughs> OK, enough of the sarcasm, let's move on. You can see that the video on the top track is hiding the iPhone. Let's now use your wizardry and fix that. Double tap on the top track that has the video. Now use the position controls on the right hand side to make the perfect fit. We want it small enough so it fits nicely on the iPhone. If you have to, go back to the timeline view, then double tap the top preview area to show the current frame in full screen. Check your result. You want to make sure that the video covers the iPhone screen completely, so that there's no transparent pixels visible within the edges of the screen. OK, awesome. We're getting there. Now that we have the iPhone screen taken care of, let's now create some keyframes to make the iPhone enter the scene and have it end up in the centre of the screen. Let's start with the iPhone itself. Then, when we're finished with it, we will do the same for the video footage track so it follows the same path. Start with double tapping on the iPhone graphic to bring up the frame and fit effects. Move the timeline indicator over to the left so it's on frame 0, which should be at the beginning of the scene. Next. Tap on the Animate icon to create a keyframe at that position. Now, keep tapping on the Step Forward icon to move forward 
until you get to frame 10. Good. This is where we want the iPhone to end up after it has entered the scene. So create another keyframe here. Now, move the timeline back to frame 0 again. Now we're going to move the iPhone graphic. You can either do this by tapping on the preview area, or for more precise control, use the position parameter sliders. I'll move the iPhone to the right until it's out of the scene. OK, now play back the result. That'll do it for this example. Let's leave the effect area for now and go back to the main timeline. OK, we're going to do exactly the same thing again, but for the video layer instead. I'll just speed up here a bit as we're just making the same movement again. Let's see the results so far. OK, looking good, looking good. Just a simple animation, nothing special. Now, depending on what type of video I'm making, if it's about showing how to use a specific app, for example, I'll scrub forward on the app footage and wherever I make an actual finger tap when the footage was recorded, I'll import a tap gesture overlay animation just to give it a more realistic look. I usually don't go overboard on this, only where I feel it helps show you, the viewers, the important parts of the app or technique that's being shown at that point in time. And there you have it, just a quick example of how to animate a simple iPhone scene. Here's a great tip for you. For all those viewers that may be watching your content on small screens, the next time you're producing mobile how-to or app review videos, always make sure you Zoom in, zoom in. Do it! Just do it! Okay, that is to zoom in on all the important parts of the app so your viewers always get the best view of the action. Do this and they'll love you for it. Good on ya, you've done it. But if you want to do something a little bit different on your next video project, then why not consider creating 3D character videos? It's pretty easy, and all you have to do is point and click. Watch this next video gig now and find out the super easy way to create your own training or explainer videos using 3D characters. Go on, go for it. <laughs>